Hello, my name is Daniel Blewett and I'll be taking you through a quick introduction to BlueMunit. BlueMunit is a cloud-based renderer for SketchUp and by that I mean it exports your SketchUp scene to the cloud and renders it from there, giving you the real-time imagery. BlueMunit is available now for free download for both OS X and Windows. By simply creating an account on our site you can download a trial copy with one free hour right now. One of our most useful resources, our YouTube channel, has a number of videos concentrating on features in a level of detail I won't be covering in this video. Be sure to check it out. Returning to the site, by clicking the large green sign up button, you are taken along to the sign up screen. Simply enter your name, address and a password and you'll create your Bloom Unit account, which entitles you to one free hour of cloud use. The dashboard is where you'll be able to add additional hours should you decide to in the future. I'm currently highlighting the download for Windows button, also you can see next to it is the download for Mac option. You can click whichever one is applicable to you. As you can see, once I've downloaded the plugin, I simply run the installer and run through the steps and it'll install on its own to where SketchUp is located. This will be the same for either the OS X or Windows version. From there you will start SketchUp and you will see the Bloom unit will be active immediately. You will see on mine, however, I am already logged in as myself. New users, just type in your email address and password when prompted. From there, you're ready to go. Alright, now let's get started. Up in the corner, you'll see the three Bloom Unit buttons. The one on the left is the important one right now. That launches the Bloom Unit renderer. This is where the cloud charge starts. However, as I mentioned, your first hour is free. BlueMute is a simple one-button operation because we really wanted to avoid the enormous number of controls that needed to be fine-tuned in order to work other rendering packages. The one setting we do still have is exposure. Much like a camera, sometimes BlueMute doesn't know exactly how bright an area should be. But from there you just use the numpad plus and minus buttons and you can adjust the exposure yourself. And here we have real-time rendering. As you'll see, as I draw geometry into my SketchUp scene, it appears moments later in the Bloom Unit render view. This is the same for everything in SketchUp, as I'll continue on to show. Here I'm essentially constructing a room while pulling up a block from the ground, as anyone has ever done in SketchUp. What I'll be doing next is finding a component in my existing library, which has a Bloom Unit material on it, which is our glass material, which is a window. It'll pop right in and then it'll appear straight away in my Bloom Unit scene as well as appearing in my SketchUp scene. From there I can fly closer to it or fly further away from it, move it around, I can drag it in and out and you'll see the penetration and the lighting will update in real time along with it. I should point out that Bloom Unit is a physically accurate renderer. Anything that you do in the scene is exactly the way the light would really behave in that particular scenario. Here I am moving the sunlight time from afternoon to morning and then back to afternoon and you can see it updates in real time as I change it and these sun times and sun locations can be based on where you are in the world yourself so you always get accurate readings. And here is another important feature the Bloom Unit materials. What we have actually is over 300 materials that are extremely high quality while they look simple in SketchUp they'll come through in Bloom Unit in extremely high detail there are two ways you can look at the list, obviously, the same way that you look at the SketchUp materials normally, either by looking at the images, which can give you a quick idea what everything looks like, or by looking at the names if you want a more detailed view. And here we have a close-up of what the materials look like when you get very close. As you can see in SketchUp that they're very simple and they'll immediately update with their extremely high detail counterparts in Bloom Unit as soon as you change them. And this happens with all of the 300 materials on any surface in any scene. Following on from that is the lighting library. This is our own library made up of over 200 lights from four leading lighting manufacturers. By that I mean we've used real IES photometry data and the lights behave as they do in the real world. Firstly, here are the fixed lights. The fixed lights are essentially just placed into the room and then put either onto a wall or a ceiling and then they will look in that one direction and throw light in that one direction as well. These obviously are very common and we have quite a large number of them.
Now I'll just delete two of them and we can see the darkness spread to that side of the room and I can show you what the aim lights do. The aim lights are essentially the other kind of light we have and we can place those either onto the ground or a wall or a ceiling again and then you can decide which direction you want to aim them. As they come in in a default direction, in the direction you can see at the moment, which is diagonally facing down, you can just right click and go down to aim light and click the wall or the window or any object in the scene and it will project the light in that direction instead using the same IES data. Real-time rendering really means that you can create imagery on the go. Bloom Unit will allow you to put in new objects, change finishes, change the lighting and the time of day all within moments of making the change. By simply entering someone's email address, you can send this feed of 3D imagery to anybody's tablet, phone or computer and they can see everything you see as you see it. These are a collection of images I've created using Bloom Unit. There are many more features I haven't gone through today, and I hope you'll check out our YouTube channel for Bloom Unit's many features and capabilities. Thank you for listening.